hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruel free YouTuber and today I am going to do something that might be a little bit strange, like a strange thing and I think I have a cat that wants to go in here. I'm going to drink a Pepsi Max. I am addicted to Pepsi Max as people are addicted to uh, coffee more drugs. Um, today I'm going to do something. It's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to do a get rid with me. I think I am going, it's going to be a first impression get rid with me testing new makeup and I am going to do a first impression on the Lush Life palette from Colourpop that looks like this and what I have heard people do really really like this one I don't know what I think because I haven't tested it out yet and I'm going to test it out and I have so much cat hair on my shirt and I'm going to test it out and we will see how this will go and I feel so tired like I think I look tired, maybe not. And yeah, I'm going to test some other new makeup. I don't know though if I have that much new makeup. I should should stop fiffling with things. I have I'm going to test this one and then I have this blush that is really orange from NYX. That is like a uh, moosey. I think I'm a little bit scared of this if I'm going to be honest. It's a soft cheek tint. I never know like how to put these on. I don't know. So okay, I am going to also talk about doing... I'm so sorry for doing things when I'm talk. Um, also talk about next year for me. And it is in the end of November and I'm like, when did this year even start? What has uh, even happened this year? I don't know. So I'm going to talk about what I want or some thoughts that I have for next year um, that I'm not like sure about like at all <laughs> and this is just to vent my feelings or my thoughts a little bit and just yeah i guess that you're as confused as i am right now but it is this amazing time in sweden right now when it's dark <laughs> like like today it hasn't been light at all today. It has like been a great dark nothing today. And it's going to stay like this for a couple of months. Okay, I don't know what I want to do with this. I think I want to do something green maybe. But I also think that I want to use like this one. Yeah. Maybe we will just see where this takes me. So it's, yeah, Sweden is a dark place right now. And I think that might makes me a little bit tired as well. As like all, all Swedes. It feels like it is the only thing that we are talking about right now. The darkness and how tired we are. I guess we like to talk about that. But that was not what this video was going to be about. I have talked a little bit about that I want to do a no buy or a low buy next year. And I sat down yesterday and wrote down some things that I like planning or that I want to do. And I can actually, maybe I should use them as notes because you maybe can hear that I sound a little bit confused by myself. So 
I like don't know if I want to do a no buy or a low buy but I think that I've actually decided to do a low buy and if it turns out to a no buy that is good but if I like decide to have a no buy and then <laughs> I buy something I know that I'm going to feel disappointed in myself and like just give up and maybe have a shopping spree because I'm 32 and I know how I work so I'm actually planning on doing a low buy and if it turns out to a no buy that is okay then um, <laughs> it's just good so I have been thinking like if is there some products that I'm going to allow myself to buy? Maybe I should sit a little bit higher. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, having some products that I'm going to allow myself to buy. And that is mainly like things that I need to buy during. Like I'm going to have to buy new makeup sponges because this does not hold up for a whole year and you are not supposed to have them for a whole year and also like with mascara you are not uh, it's not good for you to use them and I don't even think that a mascara will last me a year so <sighs> there are some things that I'm going to allow myself to buy and not going to consider it as a no buy because it's <laughs> like refills like I'm going to have to buy shampoo I'm going to have to buy maybe a new skin cleanser and uh, maybe if I like empty up all my concealers I don't think that will happen though but if it happens I want to buy a new one and I'm not going to consider that like breaking a no buy if you <laughs> get what I mean and I know that some people don't think that that is a no by then but for me it would be because yeah like if I I want to have mascara like I want to have something to clean off my makeup and I want to have like a day cream and uh, yeah so I'm thinking about like Refills is completely okay and uh, both with like skincare and makeup and I have had during 2019 I did have a low buy that year do you know what I'm not talking about the shadows at all so far <laughs> so good so far I have no idea where this is going to end up actually yeah, I had a low buy during 2019 I did allow myself to buy free items per month and um, I have some videos about that I can leave I don't know if I did a playlist maybe I should do it or I can leave some videos down in the description but with that low buy I also had in like skincare and hair care and stuff like that and did only buy refills and for me that isn't so hard like hair care has never been a problem for me like I have never bought too much hair care I have the things <laughs> that I like and I use them up and then I buy new ones so that has never been a problem so I'm going to continue like that. I think that skincare though can be a little bit more of a problem for me because I do love skincare. But I I don't know actually. I think I will count it in as well. And also <laughs> in December I'm going to have an advent calendar from the body shop. I've had it for many many years now. I have an amazing boyfriend that buys me the body shop advent calendar 
each and every year and this year I have the big one like the super deluxe super advent calendar with like I think it's 44 full-size products and um, yeah I guess that I'm going to be set with uh, maybe skincare for a couple of months and also like shower creams and stuff like that so yeah I think I'm actually going to give this a really good try to not buy anything but it it's going to be hard <laughs> I know that I know it's going to be so hard to not buy any makeup like not to buy a single eyeshadow palette for a whole year not to buy a single lipstick for a whole year a whole year that is going to be hard but yeah i have talked about this a lot that uh, we are looking to buy a house and i have set up a savings plan for this and as it looks right now i want to save for five years and that is just because the goal that I have in mind if I'm going to live kind of like I do now it will take five years and that is a long time just like when I hear myself say five years that it's going to take so long but if I really do not spend any unnecessary money it's going to take me around four years and uh, <laughs> so that's like is one part that I really want to try to do this and also I do not need any more makeup and I am not like that into or buying new makeup doesn't give me the same kick anymore like this palette the Lush Life, I really, really, really wanted it. And I have had it for a couple of months. And this is the first time I'm using it. And that, I think, says a lot. And I do love makeup. But I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed, you might can say. And I don't want to be that. So I'm going to give this an honest shot. I'm going to do a low buy. And if it turns out to be no buy, that is going to be great. Okay, I don't know. This wasn't like a super great idea to mix these colors. And this eye, I'm going crazy with it. If you have ever seen me put on makeup the latest month, you know that I have like a super dry patch on this eye. And it's fucking with my eyeshadow. And makes every eyeshadow like patchy. And it is like the dryness in my skin sucks up the eyeshadow primer. So the eyeshadow doesn't have anything to stick to. Okay, it's now I don't know. Do I want to still mix orange and green? But dude, maybe this doesn't look good. I want to mirror a little bit closer. I think it looks a little bit off. A little bit muddy, which isn't strange because that is what's happening. So yeah, that is like the rough, my rough plan for next year is to doing a low buy. And if it turns out to a no buy, that is good. And I don't know like if I'm going to do up dates on it or if I'm just going to go with it and see where it will end okay I'm taking the super light green as you can see I don't think this was a great idea this is not going to match with the shade in my crease have I been too like, is this maybe why I usually do <laughs> more neutral eye looks in my Get Ready With Me's because then I don't need to concentrate on the eyeshadow. Like what is this for mess? I do not know. 
but it is what it is right now. And I want some other shade also on my lid, but I don't know what. See, I don't know like if you if I'm going to do this or am I am going to do this, but I don't know if I should do like updates and One part of me is like, okay, I want to do like duping and new things that I really want. I know that it is a lot of people that do that, that are really good on it. And I have never had any confidence in duping things whatsoever. But maybe I don't need to find like a palette or singles in my collection to dupe something. Maybe I can just use whatever I have in my collection and try to uh, dupe with that. Maybe that is a thing for me to do. But for, for me it feels so strange because I can't like get into my head that this year is almost over and that we are soon going into a new year. 2022. That feels so strange. So it feels so strange to talk about it because I'm like, it's months away. And uh, no, it is not. It is soon here. And I have talked about this before that I am one of these persons that really like to start new things in the new year. <laughs> A new beginning, new year, even though I usually don't have any new year's resolution like that but i like to start things on january 1st and i did actually have a no buy in october with some of my friends and it it went really good and i haven't bought that much since so with like doing a no buy on or low buy on makeup skincare hair care I'm going to be able to do that, I really hope. But then I also like need to do it on shoes. I have been shoe shopping like a crazy person this year. I am a nightest kid, if you did not know. And one thing that I really, really wanted when I was a kid was to own a pair of buffaloes but they were so expensive and uh, me being like 10 years old did not have the money to buy any buffaloes and then when I was getting older and uh, I don't wear I'm a vegetarian so I don't wear any leather shoes and, uh, and the buffalo came back a couple of years ago and they were all in leather. So it was no problem for me to not buy the shoes from buffalo. But then they came out with a vegan line. And um, I don't even know how many buffaloes I have. I'm going to try to count them. One, two, three, four. I think I have five pairs. Six. And two. Three, four. Five. No, I have five pairs. And maybe six because I ordered one that I need to test out a little bit more and I want more. And uh, even though they are not leather, they are not like... They are not super cheap. <laughs> and I have like saved. I buy my buffaloes from Salando. I think they are available in Nordics and maybe in the UK as well. And um, I buy them as if it was candy and I need to stop doing that but 
it's a dream for me to finally being able to buy the shoes that I have wanted for so many years. And also the best thing about shoes is uh, you can gain weight and you can lose weight but they still are going to fit. That is the best thing about shoes. So I need to have like <laughs> no buy on shoes as well. And maybe on clothes as well. And try to find like things that I already own to set up like outfits and where is this get red with me even going and I was going to do maybe an easy first impression with this palette but now it's turning out to something completely different see so yeah, I'm going to have try to have uh, like a low buy on shoes as well <laughs> they are looking so good and there are so many that I want to have I do love shoes and I have been thinking about doing a show, shoe collection but like I don't know how but I do really love shoes I love makeup and shoes okay, I'm just going to uh, put this on and I shouldn't set my face. Okay, I'm going to put this on, set my under eyes, and then we're going to try this one that I am a little bit scared of. I think I need to look up like how to use this. On to the scary thing. I haven't set my face with my powder. I just set my under eyes. Now I've kept her somewhere on my face. So I'm going to use this one. Uh, it's the Sweet Cheeks in Almost Famous. I did watch some videos because like, I, I do not know how to do this and I saw one video where she put it on on the cheeks right away and one where she did put it on her hand and then used fingers so I'm, I think I'm going to use that technique and this is a really orange one Ooh. if I'm going to be honest I have no idea why I did pick this orange one Maybe because I don't have that many orange blushes, so I was like, maybe I should use something that I don't have. And I do not. I have some liquid blushes. Like, I never know how to... Oh. How to work with them. Because it feels like they are not getting like the thing I want out from a liquid blush is it is for it to look a little bit more natural or not natural but a little bit more like blended into my skin but I always have problems with doing that maybe that looks good I don't know how much you can see and I don't like to use my fingers but like everybody does it and it looks fucking amazing but when I do it it looks like shit if I'm going to be honest this feels like it was kind of much blush okay. but you know what I'm going to try on the other side to put it on like this if I just whoop, 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 whoop. and then going with my sponge This is too much blush. What did I take so much? This is too much blush. This is too much. And it doesn't feel like I have control over those liquid blushes. It feels like it's going everywhere. And this, I think this side is better than this one. I don't think you can see anything like with this doodle lighting. I think this looks good, this looks shit. It feels like I'm just looking dirty in my face and I don't know 
why others can do this perfectly when I'm trying to do it it just turns out like crap and like I want to set my face how will it look if I take powder over this maybe this is a stupid idea but stupid ideas are the way to go it feels like on this side it is kind of good on this side it is not good but I just guess that we have to go with this and for highlight I remember this one <laughs> this is also from Nabla I do love this and maybe this can save it I'm guessing not but I maybe will Like, do you have any tips on using liquid blushes? Or maybe just buying the wrong colors. I also have this from Colourpop. Yeah, this was from NYX, but I have this from Colourpop. This is a chic tint. I can't remember if I've used this in a video. I don't know. It's a chic duo. Yeah, I think I did, and I think I had problems with that one as well. Why am I keep trying when I'm always failing? And when I sat down to film this, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a shorter video. That is not going to be so hard to edit. It's going to be a shorter, like, first impression. And now I have been talking forever I'm so sorry do I want to take the green underneath my eyes as well maybe I maybe I'm going to do that but yeah that is what I'm okay to wrap what, what, what I have I what is my conclusion what is my plan my plan is to try or to do a low buy and if it turns into a no buy I'm going to be so happy and uh, I am not I'm going to buy refills and that is going to be okay and I'm going to like try to have a low buy on everything in my life but I think like with clothes yeah, and I also need to stop buying plugs and ear weights um, but with clothes I think it's so hard because I'm trying to find my style and I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with um, my body and um, <laughs> Yeah, but I don't want to buy too much clothes. So I don't know, like, how I should do with that. But I have too much clothes, I know that, and I should really do, like, the clutter in my closet. But at the same time, with clothes, I want to dress more, like, even if I'm only at home, I think I want to dress more like fancy. As for today, I have like a hoodie, a big hoodie and my sweatpants. When I have amazing dresses and church, church, shirts and skirts in my closet, this is what I wear. I look like I don't know. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to finish this look up. I'm going to take something in my wash line, put on mascara, try to put on a lippy, and then I come back and <laughs> I'm going to wrap this whole video up. And I'm so annoyed with myself that I, I just wanted to do short first impression, talk a little bit about what I want to do next year, and it's turning out to, I think, a half an hour video. It's going great. So, I don't know 
it's like me. I have never been good at matching lipsticks, but it feels like the latest. It is. It is not my thing. I don't know what. In my wash line, I did go in with Screamin' from LA Girl. On my lips, I took Mellow More from LH Cosmetics, and it's a cold lip and a little warmer eyes, but it has to do. So, yeah, <laughs> this is my first look with the Lush Life. I feel like the shadows wasn't anything special. Can I bend this back? Nothing special. It's not... I think it's a good Colourpop formula, but I don't know why people were so, like, amazed with this. Yes, I have only done one look and I didn't mix the colors. Maybe this is what's happening when I'm doing a Get Red With Me and not doing an easy eye look or when I don't know what to do and I just take colors and it turns out like this. Um, I really do like the greens but like it's I don't know maybe I'm not just a fan of this look I may just have a day when I don't like the way I look it, it can be that but yeah it's not a bad palette it's not my absolute favorite palette from Colourpop and this one, I don't know, I always feel like I look so like dirty in my face when I use creams. Uh, it feels like I don't have any control even though I have more control than using like a flimsy brush. I don't know, but it doesn't feel like super amazing. And also my brows. I've had these brows on the whole day and they start to look shitty. But yeah, so for like a little recap and like question to you, I'm going to do a low buy and if it turns out to a no buy, I'm completely fine with that, but I'm not going to like aim for doing a no buy year. I will buy things if I need refills and I also have been thinking like if I have a product that I, say if I buy a new eyeshadow primer and I don't like it if I give it to a friend and then buy a new one it's still going to be like a refill because I think like if I buy a new product it's not I, I really want to like it I don't want to waste like makeup like, you are not happy when you're using a product that doesn't work for you. And I don't want to make makeup boring for me. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do next year. Maybe I start now, I don't know. I'm going to do shop on Black Friday though. But after that, I don't know. But that is what's going on next year for me. And do you want me to do updates? maybe once a month or maybe just when I feel like it and is there anything special you want me to do I'm not going to try to do a project pan and um, because I don't think it's my thing I do starting to like to watch like project pan videos but I don't think it's for me and I don't think that I'm a panner is that a word is that what you're calling them a panner I don't know I don't think that I would do that and also I want to try to do more things on my channel maybe a little bit of fashion I've talked about this before but like I don't live in a fancy apartment I am so uncomfortable I have like asked my boyfriend can you take an outfit of the day picture on me outside and he like sure I can do it and I'm like no I don't want to what if people see and I don't know how to act maybe I should just try and maybe do some fashion and some shoes even though like yeah this is me <laughs> most of the days but yeah I do really hope that you like this video I'm going to I was going to say that I want to do shorter videos as well 
maybe I should, but at the same time, if I'm not putting up that many videos, maybe like two videos a week or one a week that I'm doing now, maybe it's more okay to put up more video, uh, longer videos. I don't know. I have no idea. You just, if you want to see what's happening, just stick around and also, I don't know now how long it was since I did my last get ready with me but I just want to say thank you for all the support and I your comments meant a lot to me and I talked about some sensitive stuff if you didn't know that I can leave that video up here and you were so sweet and uh, I really enjoyed to talk to you about things like that and I'm happy that some of you feel like my channel is <laughs> like brain fart that my channel is a space to talk about things that you maybe don't want to talk about but you want to talk about them okay so yeah i just want to say thank you for that and thank you for all the new subscribers that i'm having right now i don't know where you are coming from Happy to have you here. So yeah, that is all for this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!